Hi there, welcome back to XDA TV. Happy 2014, hope you guys had a great celebration over the New Year's. I'm gonna talk to you guys for about 2013 for the last time, and essentially it's the top five applications, in my opinion, over an XDA TV that I've reviewed for the last year. Let's check them out. So XDA TV covered a lot of applications, a lot of modules, a lot of different ways of tweaking and covering different things or modifying things on your device. But one of the main things that we reviewed here for you guys this year was essentially applications that help you improve the experience. And in my opinion, some of the applications that are innovative and different and unique in the way they improve your experience on Android. One of the main ones I want to talk about is Greenify. And I'm sure everybody's aware what Greenify does. It helps you control what is keeping your wake life on on your device. And that's the benefit of using this application. You can greenify certain applications. You can greenify system applications if you convert them to user applications. So it's a great tool to use. Now, the number one and the number two on this list are kind of working together. And they're not in any particular order. But number two is wake clock detector. This is another application that we covered for you guys earlier this year. And this allows you to understand truly what is keeping your device awake either be it a CPU wake or a screen wake, which essentially could contribute to battery drainage without you even noticing it. Of course, there's the normal way of looking at it by going to the battery, but this application gives you a true one-stop shop of understanding it. And then using Greenify helps you close this whole process by enabling to Greenify these applications or make sure they hibernate, basically what Greenify means. The third app on this list is Focal. Now, this is a camera replacement or an open source camera application that you can install on different devices. It's compatible with a great list of devices and the features differ between the devices and based on the capabilities of the device. But overall, the actual application itself is very nice. The options that it provides you gives you a near stock experience as far as using the camera app on a stock Android Nexus 5 or a Nexus 7 type of a device on any other device that it's compatible with and it works pretty well it gives you the hdr compatibility the burst mode very nice application put together and i find it that it just provides a better ex experience for you uh, specifically for an open source type of an application of course it works great uh, if you're supporting the developer that put out this is the same developer that put out the omniram so definitely great work and the third app on this list and i'm sure a lot of us have already used them i still personally use it definitely is Viper for Android. This application gives you the ability to control the output audio out of your device. And I've used this on devices that have had very bad audio or somewhat bad based on waterproofing like the Xperia Z. And it gave me really nice audio. It, you know, and I didn't boost it to the point where it started to damage the device, but overall it helped me on that. On the Note 2 that I used to have, it didn't need, I really didn't need to use this, but I've had it installed as part of some uh, ROMs that I've installed and it works quite well. On the Note 3, where some of the sound wasn't as loud as the Note 2, it helps me increase the audio on that and it works very, very well. I like it because of the way it works, it installs itself on any other ROM without necessarily having to install a custom ROM for it to have it built into the OS. Last but not least, and it's one of the main applications and the reason why it's on here is because of the way it interacts with your device and it's called Switcher. This application allows you to switch between applications in a Windows type based style switching mode. But the developers also included root functionality to be able to basically close uh, applications, switch in multiple styles. And the last update that I saw came out, it's actually now going into the search functionality to try to replace some of the search functionalities on your device. A very nice application that was put together by a good developer. Overall, all these applications and the reason why I kind of chose them mostly because at the end of the year, after I reviewed so many applications, I actually still have all five of these applications on my device and I use them almost every other day. Now, again, I'm not saying any of the other applications are not great. If you have any other favorite applications, please let me know in the description here below the video and I will definitely keep those and talk about those with you guys. Overall, very good year. I appreciate your support. Uh, thank you again. I've grown a lot using it, working here with XDA, especially with uh, getting my experience of filming and getting things better. And it, again, getting a better response back from you guys and letting me know some of the areas where I can work on. Um, hope you guys have a great 2014. Uh, let me know of any, any recommendations or videos. We're going to hopefully go back to a normal schedule soon. Uh, next week, we're going to have XTA going to CES. I'm going to try to help uh, Jordan over here as well. Um, and I think, you know, we'll definitely see a lot of videos coming out from that CES in the near few couple weeks. So let me know. I'll talk to you guys soon and happy 2014.